So I'm in the middle of watching Rick and Morty for the first time right now, and I just got to the end of season 3, beginning of season 4. But I had to stop and make a video about this because I was thinking to myself, he can't always be this pathetic, right? Wrong! So far. Jerry Smith is probably the worst excuse for a father in animated TV history. Like bro, there have been some horrible dads depicted in TV, but never have I seen anyone quite as bad as Jerry. I know it's also common in these shows to make the dad borderline or completely incompetent, which is fine because most of the time I do find it funny. License and registration, please. What seems to be the officer problem? But the main difference between Jerry and the other animated dads is that because they're so comically stupid, most of what they do or how they act is excused. But Jerry isn't comically stupid. He's just a mildly stupid, extremely below average father and an insecure, narcissistic, fake victim, crybaby, coward of a man. Basically, you are most likely to know or meet a Jerry rather than a Peter, which is what makes him so unbearable. Here's an example. Homer strangling his only son over something like feeding him lighter fluid after eating fire on a stick doesn't bother me. Because no human is as dumb as Homer to eat fire on a stick mistaken for a kebab. But Beth making Morty do his science fair project with Jerry instead of his incredibly genius grandfather because Jerry's insecure about his intelligence, then proceeds to be extremely paranoid about Morty potentially asking Rick to help him, that right there bothers me. Maybe it's because I've known a couple Jerry's in my lifetime. Hopefully all that made sense though, and at least one of you understand what I'm saying. Holy shit, it sounds way better in my head, but I promise it's not a bunch of BS. Anyway, I'm gonna show you two episodes where Jerry did shit that made me wish the worst for him. The first one is season three, episode nine, the ABCs of Beth. So basically in this episode, Jerry is getting a divorce and has been away from the house for a little. Morty and Summer come to visit him only to find that he has telekinetic powers that he got from his new alien girlfriend. Immediately, Morty and Summer are suspicious of her, rightfully so because Jerry ends up finding himself soul bonding with her, which is really serious judging by the name. And of course, when warned, Jerry turns it into his kids are jealous of his telekinetic powers and freakishly hot alien girlfriend. Why don't you just say what you really mean? You think it's cool that having sex with her gives me telekinesis and you recognize she's got a hot bod like Chitara in Thundercats, but you're grossed out by her avocado-shaped head and blue skin and you think I want to put a bag and a wig on her head. After all the time and energy I spent teaching you two about race, you ended up racist. What an idiot. Like, what kind of grown man brags to his own kids about his new girlfriend while getting a divorce? Moving on, as expected, he realizes soul bonding is not the best thing for him to do and wants his 17 and 14 year old daughter to help him by making them the reason for why he wants to break up with her. They obviously say no. Then the next day, to their surprise, Jerry's psycho alien girlfriend is trying to kill them. Why you may ask? Oh, because Jerry broke up with her by telling her that it was the kids who didn't like her and caused him to want to break up. What kind of dad, not even a dad, what kind of parent would put their children in danger because they couldn't be grown up enough to break up with somebody properly, then proceed to blame the outcome of the situation on lack of imagination? I'm not an evil person, I'm just not very imaginative. By the way, if you're one of those people who are just gonna say, bro, it's just a show, it's not that deep, go fuck yourself. I know it's just a show. Just let me shit on this character in peace. So they run away to a cave where Kiara does find them, then proceeds to strangle Summer with the force. You'd think that this would be enough to alarm her father, right? Okay, Kiara, let's just run away. Come Jerry eventually admits the truth and that he lied and that he's the one who wanted to break up with her, not the kids. Only to find out Kiara only dated him to make her ex jealous. How romantic. 
Next shitty Jerry moment that makes me only hope for the worst for him. Season 3, episode 5, The Whirly Durly Conspiracy. Where Rick takes Jerry on a pity adventure so he doesn't kill himself, at Morty's request. He takes him to a planet with a resort that's shielded by an immortality field, so you can't die. Rick and Jerry actually sort of bond for a little bit, until Jerry is confronted by the resort manager, who has, like him, a deep hatred for Rick Sanchez and wants Jerry to lure Rick onto an amusement park ride that goes out of the protective shield so they can kill him. Jerry initially declines like most sane people would, but then gets reminded by Rick that due to him moving in with them, it escalated the decline of Jerry's marriage to Beth. And that was enough for Jerry to seal the deal and get Rick on to the whirly Durly. Then while on the ride, Rick admits that he was wrong for ruining their marriage and says he'll apologize when they return home, causing Jerry to instantly regret his deal. They all fight on the ride, crashing somewhere away from the resort and away from the immortality field. Surviving his assassination attempt, Rick is obviously angry that Jerry tried to set him up. While attempting to explain himself, Jerry gets caught in some kind of snake that starts to slowly devour him which leads to a Rick-like sum up of who Jerry exactly is as a person. You act like prey, but you're a predator. You use pity to lure in your victims. It's how you survive. I survive because I know everything. That snake survives because children wander off and you survive because people think, oh, this poor piece of shit. He never gets a break. I can't stand the deafening silent wails of his wilting soul. I guess I'll hire him or marry him. <laughs> When I first saw this, I instantly remembered a scene from The Dark Knight that really just seemed to reign true here. And you see, in their last moments, people show you who they really are. You self-righteous piece of shit! You took my family! I took your family? Who do you think had more taken from them when you shot 20 cc's of liquid dream killer into my daughter? I think out of all the punching bag characters on TV, Jerry deserves his hate, like a lot. He's a selfish person too, always whining about his life as if he's the only one who has it bad. But to his credit, having to give up the man of the house role to your 70 year old father-in-law, who your kids like and respect way more than you, must be pretty tough. And in retrospect though, Rick is the biggest piece of shit in the series. I don't even have time to list off all his bad qualities. The difference between Jerry and Rick though is that Rick is likable, he's funny, he's witty, also really badass, you know, so you forget all that other stuff he's done. Jerry seems to have zero redeeming qualities other than just feeling sorry for him. Once again, I haven't watched all of the show, I just started season 4, and my prediction is that Jerry doesn't really change much as a character but I am also open to having my mind changed. So if you wanna let me know in the comments, was everything I said valid? Or am I overreacting and Jerry actually has a lot of good to say about him?